tinting windows on a BMW Z4. Tools that will be needed are a cutting blade, multiple squeegees, dry cloths, a soapy water mix, and a spray bottle. First, the window must be cleaned. The glass must be cleaned to remove any debris on the window that would cause the tin film to show blemishes. The soapy water mix and a squeegee can be used for this. A razor blade may be used also. This will ensure that the window is thoroughly clean. Squeegee off the water and also make sure to wipe off the door panel that may have gotten wet during this process. The window tin is placed on the outside of the window to allow for a rough cut of the tin film. After the rough cut, position your window tint using the bottom of the window as a guide. Cutting with a sharp blade helps make a good cut with no snags or jagged cuts on the window tint. Your first cut is cutting around the mirror molding. The film is cut following the contour of the window next. Rounding the corners is done so that the window film won't snag when the window is used. Place the window tin on the outside of the window again, this time leaving a gap at the bottom. Spray the window tin with a soapy water mix again. Use your squeegee to squeegee off some of the water. A heat gun is used to heat out bubbles and straighten the film out before it is applied to the inside window. Again, spray the inside of the window before moving the film to the inside. The release film is removed and the tint film is placed on the inside window. Once again, spray the tint with a soapy water mix. After removing the release sheet, place the window tint on the inside window. Be sure not to flip the film around when doing this. Once again, we're using the bottom edge as our guide. Along the top, leave a 1 16th inch gap. The film is then squeegeed, starting from the center, going left to right to remove air bubbles and water. On this particular car, you can push back on the top of the window to allow the window tint to be squeegeed behind the window seal. A final cleaning of the window is done to wipe off any excess water and to see if any corrections have to be made. And this window tint on the driver's side is completed now. The window tint should dry for 24 hours. The same steps are performed when tinting the passenger side window. Using your soapy water mix, clean the window thoroughly. And again, wipe off any excess water on the door. Again, place the window tin on the outside of the window, making your rough cut. Again, make your cut along the side view mirror molding. Follow the contour of the window and cut your outline.
On this window, we're rounding the corners with a tint on this glass. Again, the corners are rounded so the window will not snag when the window is rolled up and down. And again, position the film higher than the bottom window jam. Squeegee off the excess water. Use the heat gun again to remove the air bubbles and it also shrinks the film to fit the window. Remove the release sheet on the outside. Again, spray a soapy water mix on the film and on the inside window also. Remove the tint from the outside window and place it on the inside. Again, using your bottom window molding as your guide and your side view mirror. Again, begin squeegeeing the water out from left to right, starting from the center. And once again, this window can be pushed back to help tuck the window tint down behind the window jam. And also again, the top has the 1 16th inch gap. Again, wipe down your interior as you go along. When cleaning the back window, it is good to use a soft sponge using the abrasive side. Most back windows have rear defrost. A dryer sheet is used on the back window to remove any static electricity due to the rear defrost. A rough cut of the tint film is done again, leaving some excess to be cut later. Cut along the contour of the window. A heat gun is used again to heat out bubbles and shrink the film to fit the window. Once again, remove the film and leave a gap at the bottom so you can begin squeegeeing out the bottom air bubbles. The squeegee is best used to remove the air bubbles. On this window, the cut can be just around the window's dot matrix. A helper can use a soft light to help you guide your cut around the back window's dot matrix. You'll need to fold the window tint to get past the back seat's headrest. Once the tin is placed inside, begin squeegee in again from left to right and top to bottom. Wipe off any excess water so you can see if any bubbles are left. Again, a heat gun is used to get any bubbles out and shrinks the film to fit the window. This concludes the window tint of the BMW Z4.